<laughs> but our hearts also go out to the families. One person is dead after a line of strong storms moved through the Ozarks overnight. Several businesses were badly damaged, and trees and power lines are down all over the southwest Missouri. Good evening. I'm Crystal Blair. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, as recovery efforts begin, weather officials have confirmed two tornadoes an EF1 in Aurora. This is the one that left one person dead. There was also an EF0 confirmed in Monette. Color 10's Francis Lynn spent the day in Aurora and shows us the aftermath of last night's tornado. I feel sad. I feel horrible. I feel heartbroken for the loss. I mean, that's, it's tragic and it, small towns is just, it's, we're all close and we all stick together and then, um, I just, I pray everybody else is okay. According to a National Weather Service damage survey, a tornado hit near Aurora, then tracked to the motel where one person died. We did have a fatality at the, mot at the uh, motel and it was storm-related fatality. Aurora Police Chief Richard Batoon says the victim was inside the motel during the storm. He was a result of the storm. It was at the Aurora Inn. He was a uh, patron there. Uh, uh, so at this time, that's all we have on him until we can notify next week. Robert Ward, fire chief at the city of Aurora Fire Department, says the motel sustained a lot of damage and no one can stay there right now. We're assisting them by getting their driver's license. We have a list of people that were staying there. We're confirming that. We're walking them up and letting them get their possessions out of the motel. Everyone else who was staying in the motel is safe and is currently staying at other places. We've got everybody uh, placed. Uh, we got Red Cross coming back right now for one more family. The tornado then tracked north across Highway 60 and did damage to Sutherland's. Color 10 will have more on that story tomorrow. In Springfield, Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.